Sean Burtz writes, Hi guys, love the show and watch every day. A while ago, someone on the show said that they would never do an R-rated Batman film. My question is, why not? It would be really awesome. It's not like they can't make two Batman films in one year. The R-rated one could be a lot smaller, just him hunting down street-level criminals, use practical effects, and use a small budget so they don't need the children appeal in the film. I think it would be really, really, really cool. <laughs> would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks and keep up the awesome work. Thanks a lot for the question, Sean. Utter nonsense. Sense. Utter nonsense. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. What is considered by many, uh, many people think the first Avengers is the greatest film of all time, but there's a whole lot of people out there who also think The Dark Knight is the greatest comic book film of all time. It's a masterpiece of a film, Got a, a, won some Academy Awards. A lot of people thought it should have been nominated for Best Picture. One of the greatest films ever. Wasn't rated R. R does not equal good. R does not make something better. There are some properties that really lend themselves to being R. Deadpool, for example. I was fine with them doing a PG-13 Deadpool if that's what they wanted to do, but we really wanted Deadpool to be rated R. That one lends itself more to that. Batman is not, nor has it ever been, an R-rated property in any sense of the word. Even look back at some of the most grim and gruesome stuff they've ever done in the comic books, like when the Joker killed Robin, right? Spoiler alert. When the Joker <laughs> killed Robin... With that crowbar scene, even in the look that anybody who read that that issue, it is stuck with you for your whole life. When you re read that issue with the Joker killing Robin and beating him with the crowbar and all that kind of stuff, even that was PG thirteen. Because what did they do, they showed him hitting him a couple times with the crowbar. But we see that on television. But when he's finally like beating him to practical death with the crowbar, you never see the crowbar hitting him. Right? It's PG thirteen, and yet had all the impact, had all the everything. You can't make two Batman films in one year because one's going to lose money, one's never going to make anything. It's it's just the way that it goes. And the the, the one you were describing about, hey, just have it low budget. He's just hunting some low level criminals in the streets. Then why does that have to be a Batman film? That that can be and that can be Jack Reacher, or the Punisher. That could be the Punisher. That could be that could be anybody. So this this whole notion that R makes it better is is nonsense. R is good. <laughs> If it goes with a property that lends itself to being R, Batman has never been an R-rated character. It's never needed to be. And the very fact that we've got probably what some people consider to be the best comic book movie in history is a PG-1. It begs the question, why would you alienate a big chunk of your audience to go R when you already know you don't have to go R with it? So th that would be the way I would see it. But Christian, how do you see it? I agree with you. And I think that, for, I think that the question might have stemmed because of Deadpool. And right. you see Deadpool and you go, well, wait a minute, why can't they do this for Batman? You have to realize Deadpool has not been established with a film audience yet. This is the first time we're seeing him and first time we're being introduced to him because he's coming off the page the way that he was intended to in the rated R world. I, I was actually one of those people who thought Deadpool needs to be rated R if you're going to take what has been so incredible about the comic with the F-bombs and the extreme violence. That's, like you said, John, not Batman. Um, you will... You've set up Batman so many times in films, starting off since 1989, where he has been in a world that has been able to see younger audiences and people under 17 to see these movies. And I disagree with Sean, I believe, who wrote yeah. the email, who said it's, if you make it rated R, you're taking out the childish stuff. Even in the trailer, Batman v Superman, which is going to be PG-13, Batman seems to be breaking someone's neck, one of Superman's <laughs> guards. That's not kiddish to me. Like Most of the stuff that Heath Ledger did in Dark Knight not kiddish so you can certainly do pg-13 movies still get the impact of what the dark knight is all about look like the writer i really want to see catwoman naked okay <laughs> i want to see it as bad as you do and i will say that if you made a r-rated batman movie just if it came out a lot of people would want to go see that movie that movie would be so financially successful the only thing that would do better than an r-rated batman is another PG-13 rated Batman. So the yep. reason why the studio would never do it is because I think they can get away with enough stuff in a PG-13 Batman to where you don't need to put the R restriction on there and lose all those dollars when you can pretty much pull off the same stuff and the Dark Knight proves it. There's a lot of dark stuff in the comic book, but I agree with yeah. you boys. I think that you take Batman, you make him R-rated, you make him lose that mask, you put on a different shirt with a skull on it, and then that's your movie, The Punisher. And there's your like, and going to The Punisher and going to Deadpool, what do those characters do? They kill a lot of people. People. Batman doesn't. Generally speaking, Just Batman, yeah, yeah, he has a rule. He doesn't kill people. Not that it's never happened, but generally speaking, he doesn't, he's not going to go out into a street fight with eight thugs and decapitate seven of them and pull out the beating heart of the other one like Deadpool will. There's just no need for Batman to be rated R. 